So now in our study we have we have eight criteria, right? So we have eight criteria, and that's why we will use the sheet with eight criteria in the BWM solver. So here you see I have kept the C8 criteria 8 one and I removed the others. Okay. And I have created another uh, Excel sheet here for the priority calculation. I will go back, I will come back to this later, but first let's look into this. Okay. So let's try to fill this for one of the respondent. Okay. So these are our criteria. They remain the same. Okay. So let's say we try to fill for the first respondent okay we, we we start with the first one so here our first respondent say geopolitics is most important so what we are doing I'm just using control tab to move between our my Excel sheets my Excel files okay so geopolitics that's the most important one okay so when you fill it up here, it should be available here, okay? And then which is the worst one? That is initial investment, okay? So I will check the initial investment here. And then first we compare best to others. So the most important criteria to others. Here we are, we have the criteria, right? So I can actually, I can just copy it from here and put it there just copy and I can put it here I think it will work it works yeah it works fine okay so then ors to so we have the ors to one that is investment and ors to others so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this part copy it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it as transpose and then copy it here and paste it as numbers here so that I don't lose my formatting here okay and then I'm going to remove this one so now I have all my criteria here and Orst is investment investment to investment is one and here geopolitics to geopolitics is one and others we keep it as the respondent said and then we will click here and we will go to data and we go to solver and then we click solve and okay so our priorities are estimated and this is our consistency ratio here actually the consistency ratio is a bit higher I think but anyway we are going to proceed with this we are not going to make any changes here okay so now I have created another sheet where I will do the calculation of the priority of the alternatives so here first here you see I have my alternatives four alternatives and how all the criteria are rated all the eight criteria are rated under these four alternatives okay so I will get these values from my survey again so I come here so the first eight of them they are for the fully autonomous ship so I copy it and I come here and I paste it as number okay then I again select the second eight I come back to my I paste it as number then for the next alternative I again copy them and I come here and paste it as numbers the same I'm doing for the other one so I'm pasting it as numbers so you see we have the priority of each of the criteria under each of the alternatives here already right so we got this data from my survey and here these are the weights of each of the criteria and this comes directly from the solver that we estimated here okay so this comes from this goes here as you see this is our link right so these are linked automatically updated now in, in 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 this section here what we did we normalized the we normalized the scores of each of the criteria under each of the alternatives to do that what we did if you look here we divided each of the values with the maximum value 
okay so that's what we did and then after doing the first one if you just scroll down then you get it filled up for others okay so we did the same thing for all of them as you can see here right so we did exactly the same thing for all of them okay so now here in the priority calculation what we are doing is we are just multiplying the weights with their normalized scores so that's what we did here you see all the scores so here you see we are using the s symbol to fix the weight value because we are using this one eight which is multiplied with all the uh, all the priorities so that's why we use the s symbol there and then we just yeah and we did exactly the same thing for all of them and then we get the priority scores here right and then we just take the sum to get the overall pri priority for all of it it should be overall not also yeah overall priority so that is how we actually calculated the priority of the four alternatives considering these eight criteria for the one of the respondent okay and here you see the highest priority is the semi-autonomous ship so that's what we see from here also here I have made this figure here and we can clearly see which one is the most alternative and also we can see on each of the criteria level which one is the best one okay so for instance for cost you see it's the conventional ice class that's the best one okay uh, in terms of search and rescue the fully autonomous ship is the lowest one so we can see a bit detail here I'll up upload this excel file on the research hub website so you can actually d download this template and just fill in with your survey data and proceed with your work. Also, you will see links of my published papers below in the video description. So have a look on them and you will see detailed calculation there as well. He so here I showed you only for one respondent. So I will do it exactly the same way for all the nine respondent, nine or 10, whatever I have there. And then I will actually aggregate for the, I will aggregate also for Norway and also for not Norway group and then I can also compare these two groups okay on average the average of the two groups I can compare them as well so this is how you can actually do best arts method using the Excel solver provided by the developer provided by Professor Rezaik